When our 410A is recovered from an appliance, it, A, can be mixed with either our 32 or our 125 during the recovery process, since our 410A is a mixture of those two refrigerants. B can be mixed with our 134A but not our 22 during the recovery process. C need not be recovered since our 410A is not one of the refrigerants covered by the Clean Air Act. D should be recovered into a recovery vessel that is clearly marked to ensure that mixing of refrigerants does not occur. D should be recovered into a recovery vessel that is clearly marked to ensure that mixing of refrigerants does not occur. We never want to mix refrigerants. Blending will change the refrigerant and render it useless. Why should solderless type piercing valves not remain installed on refrigeration systems after completion of repairs? A. They are too expensive to remain on every product. B. They tend to leak over time. C. They restrict refrigerant flow. D. They tend to trap lubricant. B. They will start leaking after a while. Which condition requires accessing both the high and low side of the system for refrigerant recovery when using the system-dependent, passive, recovery process? A. When there is a leak in the system. B. When the compressor operates normally. C. When the compressor only runs at half speed. D. When the compressor does not run. Non-operative. D. When compressor does not run. Why should low and high side access valves be installed when recovering refrigerant from a household refrigerator? A. To improve speed of recovery. B. To prevent non-condensables contamination. C. To protect the recovery machine. D. To prevent oil migration. I have about 20 more questions. Would you prefer me to send them all at once or individually? A couple at a time is fine. I am only paid a percentage of what you pay so I depend on volume as well as tips for my livelihood. The answer to this one is A. To enhance speed of recovery. Which recovery equipment maintenance practice should be performed on a regular basis? A. Check vacuum pump for any leaks. B. Check recovery equipment for refrigerant leaks. C. Check amperage draw of recovery device. D. Check amperage draw vacuum pump. A very large refrigerant leak can cause suffocation because refrigerants, A. Smell strong and make breathing difficult. B. Are lighter than air and cause dizziness. C. Are heavier than air and displace oxygen. D. Sting the nose and cause sneezing. Which recovery equipment maintenance practice should be performed on a regular basis? B. Check recovery equipment for refrigerant leaks. A very large refrigerant leak can cause suffocation because refrigerants, C, are heavier than air and displace oxygen. What gases can CFC and HCFC refrigerants decompose into at high temperatures, for example, open flames, glowing metal surfaces, etc.? A. Hydrazine gas B, phosgene gas C, helium gas D, tetraethyl gas. Let's open a new question after this one. What gases can CFC and HCFC refrigerants decompose into at high temperatures, for example, open flames, blowing metal surfaces, etc.? A. Hydrazine gas. 
If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.